Alpha team is flying around the forest zone, situated in northwest Raccoon City, where we are searching What's up, for the guys? Your boy Swiss. Bravo team. Who disappeared during the middle of their mission. Hmm. So Bravo team's missing. We're looking for him in the Bizarre helicopter here. Cases have recently occurred in Raccoon City. There are outlandish reports of families being attacked by a group of about ten people. Victims were apparently eaten. I don't want to ruin the cutscene, so I'm not going to talk too much. Was sent in to investigate, but we lost contact. Look, Chris. Bravo team's helicopter was a derelict. Save for the remaining body of Kevin. Hello. We continued our search for the other members, and it turned into a nightmare. I just want to say this is my favorite fucking game series ever in history of every game ever. I'm not joking. Look at those graphics, man. That's that's good graphics for for GameCube. It really is. It's part of the reason this game is a two disc game. Cause YouTube, I mean, um, the GameCube. Little discs don't hold too much data. <clears throat> Them dogs ain't dying. Dying easily, anyway. Hey, Brad! Where the hell's he going? Chris, this way. Chris, this way. <laughs> <coughs> <coughs> I wish I, uh, I wish they'd have kept the voice acting the same. Okay, enter the survival horror. And we got another cutscene. There are only three STARS members left now. Captain Wesker, Barry, and myself. We don't know where Chris is. What is this place? Not quite your ordinary house, that's for sure. Hey, Whisker, where's Chris? Jill, no. You don't want to go back out there. But we've got to find... What was that? Chris? No. Jill, go and investigate. I'm going with her. Chris and I go back a long way. All right. You two go. I'll secure this area. Stay sharp. <clears throat> and we got the classic door animation here. Sound like you said a diamond. Grab the ink ribbon. Okay, um. Alright, so this is Resident Evil, and uh. We'll go ahead and make a save, I guess. <clears throat> we'll overwrite this hard file, because there's no way I'm gonna be doing that. Um, I just wanted to see it. 
colors it red is what it does. Um Let's go over here first before I say anything else. Talk to this guy. I think you'd better take a look at this. What is it? Talk to Barry. Blood. Jill. Let's see if you can find any other clues. I'll be examining this. Let's just hope it's not Chris's. Yep. Okay, one thing to point out for now is there's very many um, different um, alternate scenes and stuff you can get in this game. I'm about to show off one right now because I like this one. Instead of searching, like Wesker said, we'll go back to the main hall. See what happens. <clears throat> that gunfire. I'm counting on you to investigate, Jill. Sure thing, Wesker. So he demands we go investigate. Instead of coming back in there. But if you try to go through the door again. Got cold feet already? That's not like you. And then. If you walk back towards Barry on the this side of the table right here, the right side, her right, this will happen. <clears throat> Who is it? <laughs> you freeze! Get away from him, Jill. He's, He's insane. insane. <laughs> oh man. We better report this to Wesker. All he's got to say about that is he's insane. <laughs> he doesn't say. I mean, what the fuck? You just assume he's insane because he's walking towards her and he's all bloody. And then he gets up and goes back into wherever he came from. <laughs> this hall good idea well it appears Westerger isn't no longer here go check something out show you guys you don't have to do this but if we go down here behind the stairs this was not included in the original game let me just go ahead and mention that this is like the GameCube remake of the original PlayStation 2 version Resident Evil the original game this is just a remade version for the uh, GameCube. Better finish searching the hall first. Oh, never mind. I can't even show that off right now. Whatever. But that this whole hall right here is not even included in the original game. What you all you gotta do is just go up these stairs and then go back down, and that he'll count that as searching. Barry. Any luck, Jill? No, nothing. What's going on around here? I so, can't figure it out. Yeah. Same here. <laughs> she Chris searched real Oscar. good. There's not much we can do. We can search for him separately. I'll investigate the dining room again. Okay, then. I'll try the door on the other side. <sighs> this mansion is gigantic. We could easily get lost. Let's start from the first floor. Okay. Oh, I almost forgot. It's a lockpick. You'd make better use of it. Oh man, the master of unlocking. Thanks. I may need it. Listen, if something happens, let's meet up in this hall. Got it? Okay. <clears throat> the master of unlocking will make good use of it. Now if you try to go out through the front door here, 
there'll be dogs that bust in here and kill you. They don't necessarily kill you, but if you don't kill them, they'll kill you. So that's probably not a good idea. So we're supposed to go to the opposite door right here. Alright, I just want to say, um... This is going to be pretty new for me because as much as I love this series, the only game in the originals, which is including Resident Evil, Resident Evil 0, Resident Evil 2, Resident Evil 3, and Resident Evil Code Veronica. Out of those original looking titles, like they all look like this, crazy camera angles and shit. Out of those games, the only one I've actually beaten on anything except easy mode was um, Resident Evil 3. I did that one on hard. So usually I just pick easy mode, right? I love this game, fucking story, the atmosphere, everything about them. Here's a map of the first floor. We'll take it. Looks pretty big, huh? Yeah. Well, that's not nothing. Um. But anyway, um. So I will, for this playthrough, I will be playing this on normal mode. This is the first time I've ever played through this on normal mode at all. So, it's going to be interesting. It's going to be like a new experience for me. Because I've never done it before. I'm looking forward to it. I haven't played this game in multiple years also. I don't know if I want to read this or not. I guess I'll read it. Using defense items such as daggers will allow you to escape momentarily when grabbed by an enemy. However, if you, you will not be able to escape when the enemy grabs you from behind. Okay. To equip a defense item, go to the status screen and select an item from the defense item menu and select the equip command. If your defense item mode is set to manual the control in the controller settings, you must press the L button to use the defense item. <clears throat> okay, first thing we want to do is set these defense items to manual. Whoa, hold on. Okay, it's equip. That's where you equip it. You don't set them to manual in this. You go to controllers, right? I like to keep my brightness up on this. Um, manual. Okay. So we don't want her to be using those items when we don't want to. Because you don't always want to use those. Um, yeah, I like to keep my brightness on um, pretty bright. Even though you're not really supposed to. Oh, I can put it even brighter, actually. Maybe we'll put it lower to make it scarier. That really is fucking creepy. Uh, I'm gonna keep it back up. Not because I'm scared, just because it, it just doesn't look as crisp and clear when it's that low. And here we have our first zombie. Technically not, if you would, um, see if my def no, they're not. Whatever. If you use the defense item, you won't get hurt, and then we can get the hell out of here. I was going to say, see if my dodge and skills are up to par. They're not, obviously, but I don't know if you can really dodge that guy anyway. Uh, so what are we doing now? Probably should have just not came back in here. Yeah. <laughs> I have beaten this game on easy mode and everything, like I said. So, I know where everything is pretty much, but... It's locked in an emblem. Ugh, an emblem of a sword is carved into the lock. Okay, never mind. That was stupid to come back in here, actually. We're supposed to go the other way. Anyway. Oh, I know what we have to do. Um. Yeah. There's more enemies and crazy shit going on in normal mode, though. I did try it. So this is going to be insanely different from easy mode. We're supposed to go up here. 